I've fallen a bit in love. It's quite tricky as he has a very large moustache and quite a military posture. He only speaks German, French and Italian and he died in 1900. I'm not sure mum and dad would be happy, but Friedrich Nietzsche is really obsessing me at the moment. Now, Nietzsche was a classical scholar, a brilliant student of ancient Greece and Rome. And when he was 28, he wrote this book, The Birth of Tragedy, which appalled his fellow academics by the wildness of its psychology, but has fascinated Nietzsche's readers ever since. In this book, Nietzsche tells us that Greek culture was defined by two gods. Now, there were loads of gods in ancient Greece, as you probably remember from school, but to Nietzsche, there were only really two that mattered. Apollo and Dionysus, both sons of Zeus. Apollo is the god of reason and the rational. Here he is in a lovely Roman copy of an original Greek statue. And yes, it looks like his cock fell off. Nietzsche coined a term, the Apollonian, to capture the atmosphere and spirit of Apollo. It's all about reason, calm, wisdom and logical thinking. Imagine it like some ideal, psychologically mature, confident grown-up. But then, for Nietzsche, there's this other god, Dionysus, who's the exact opposite. He's about chaos, emotion, instinct and impulse. The Dionysian involves runaway passion, sex, madness and chaos. Dionysus is also the god of wine. Nietzsche argues that the opposition between Dionysus and Apollo runs right through Greek culture. In fact, through all of us. We're all a tantalising mix of Dionysus and Apollo. Half logical reasoning human, half frenzied, impulse loving, dancing beast. Nietzsche believed that at their finest, the Greeks gave room for the tussle between Apollo and Dionysus. Weirdly, for a philosopher, Nietzsche believed that Greek culture started to go wrong when the Greeks tried to forget about Dionysus. They became too Apollonian because of philosophy in general and Socrates in particular. With the arrival of Socrates on the scene, the Greeks fell in love with the idea of being able to control everything through their minds, being totally wise and able to understand everything. They turned against drinking, wine and unreason. Nietzsche argued that this was deeply dangerous and that real wisdom comes from accepting the Dionysian side of us, I love this message, and I love that Nietzsche gave us these two words, Apollonian and Dionysian, to name something that's in all of us, but we never knew what to call. There's a side of us that wants to understand, that longs for calm and wisdom. And then there's the side of us that's drawn to darkness, chaos, sexuality and madness. <laughs> Nietzsche was very unfazed by all of this, and it's like he's telling us from the grave to accept both of these parts of ourselves and don't try and snuff one of them out. So thanks Friedrich for helping me understand myself a bit better and helping me accept the incredibly complex business of being human. Endurance. They are constantly tormented by the elements and yet because they are an ideal mixture Put him to her room, naked and all fours, then rode him round like a donkey, whipping him and treating him like shit to show him who's boss and 